I mean, imagine not being able to see the hair of a woman. It's like, um, I couldn't imagine it, you know. It's like life without music or something, you know what I mean? Like, you know, a woman wasn't born with the, the hijab. And, and, you know, I mean, I just think that the, the hair of the woman is, is so beautiful and, uh, you know, to hide it from, from the world is, is, is very, very sad. Religion before Allah is Islam, submission to His will. Surah Al Imran, verse 19. Unfortunately, there is so much myth around it that people think that hijab is just a head cover. Hijab uh, is a modest dress, modest way of speaking, modest way of uh, uh, conversing and interacting with an opposite sex. I think obviously the main reason as to why I wear the hijab is because it's an obligation. It's the same reason as to why I fast during Ramadan and why I pray five times a day. The hadith from our Prophet وسلم, says that we should cover our hair and it's basically to cover our beauty, not to make a show of our beauty, not to show off our bodies. We're supposed to cover the shape of our bodies and we're supposed to cover our hair because our hair is something which is very attractive. The um, requirement to wear hijab that people uh, insisted on was in fact came from the hadith where the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, indicated to Asma that once a woman reached puberty, nothing should be seen of her except her hands and face. The background of it is a good hadith that I can share with you, that a young man was walking in the street and he was just staring at the uh, young girl on the other side of the street. So much he was staring at her that uh, he did not realize that uh, he is going the wrong direction and he just hit the edge of a wall. And immediately it broke his, uh, uh, his forehead and it started, you know, uh, bleeding. Uh, the man was very upset and he said that I'm going to go and tell the prophet about this. The reason that he was looking also or one of the things that he was attracted was that that girl, uh, her bosom and chest was uh, open. So... Uh, she had attracted his attention. As soon as he goes and explains the, the, narrates the story to the Prophet, the ayah was revealed. Uh, that is in the chapter 24, ayah 31. Tell the believing men to lower their gaze and safeguard the, the, the Prophet parts, which is more uh, modest for them. And also tell the believing women to lower their gaze. So the concept of hijab in Islam starts first with uh, controlling the eyes, but not only controlling the eyes, Controlling the eyes on the one hand. On the other hand, uh, the ayah followed that tell the uh, believing uh, women also that they should draw their khemar. Khemar was something that they were already covering their heads with, but they should draw it to cover their bosom, which means their uh, neck and chest also should be covered. Say to the believing men that they should lower their gaze and guard their modesty. That will make for greater purity for them and Allah is well acquainted with all that they do and say to the believing women that they should lower their gaze and guard their modesty that they should not display their beauty and ornaments except what must ordinarily appear thereof that they should draw their veils over their bosoms and not display their beauty except to their husbands their fathers, their husbands' fathers, their sons, their husbands' sons, their brothers or their brothers' sons, or their sisters' sons, or their women, or the slaves whom their right hands possess, or male servants free of physical needs, or small children who have no sense of the shame of sex, and that they should not strike their feet in order to draw attention to their hide ornaments and O oh, you believers turn you all together towards Allah that you may attain bliss. Um, I think culture is quite relevant 
to the question of wearing hijab. And I'm just thinking that in uh, Southeast Asian societies some time ago, very few Muslim women were wearing hijab when they were going about their everyday activities, such as trading in the market and working in the fields and things like that. It's really only been in the last uh, maybe 20 years or so that um, there's been a process of Arabization uh, in Southeast Asian countries. And of course also there's been a process of religious revival and more women are now wearing a tudung or hijab uh, than they used to wear it in the past. Hijab is not a mere uh, traditional dress, like, I don't know, Pakistani dress, Iranian dress, or uh, Arabic dress. It an, it's an Islamic dress based on some uh, rationality that uh, we have already uh, discussed it, and uh, it is the law of Islam. You very rarely see Muslim men walking around dressed in sobe and or what, whatever salwa kameez in. And these days, the majority of Muslim men dress exactly the same way as non-Muslim men. And so why is it necessary for the women to dress differently? For women, it is necessary, more necessary. In fact, hijab also is for men as well, but not to the extent that it is for women. The reason for that, there is a psychological discussion behind it, that uh, the way that a man is observing woman, her physical appearance appear to a man is different from a woman towards a man. So the style of the hair of a girl is attractive uh, uh, to man. Her face, her chest, and her legs, all these, these are called body hot spots that are more attractive uh, uh, to men to, to provoke him uh, you know, sexually. Whereas for women, there is no such things. Well, at least it is not to that level that it is for, uh, for men. And therefore, they would require two different uh, uh, set of uh, dress code. The restrictions are removed a little bit on older women. When uh, women are in their older years, their restrictions for covering and wearing hijab, hijab are relaxed a little bit. So there is that sexual attractiveness factor. It's um, basically to keep morality in the society. I think it's a good thing because I think sexuality can be a very distracting factor. We drive around, we see billboards with women plastered everywhere with really very revealing pit positions, postures, clothing. It's a distraction and I think that it can desensitise people as well. I've worked in an office and some of the clothing girls used to wear, it was something you'd wear to a disco. And I used to wear long pants and a long white shirt. And some of the men would question me. This is before I wore hijab. They'd say, why do you always wear that? You wear that every day. And I said, well, why do you always wear that? You always wear long, dark pants and a long shirt. So why shouldn't I? Am I supposed to show myself just because I'm a woman? Am I expected to be perceived as something that should be viewed sexually because I'm a woman? Um, so for me, I think there's good feminist ideals in covering my body. I think if you look at it in terms of, um, in terms of most Muslim, uh, uh, in terms of Islamic countries or um, countries who have a large population of Muslim females, we don't have problems associated with um, eating disorders and, and what have you because we, I don't feel as though I need to conform to a stereotype as to what a female should look like or should dress. I'd say firstly the, the observance of hijab is, is, is Islamic and then the rationalisation would come later on after the experience of hijab. A lot of uh, Muslim women after wearing the hijab that would tell you that they have increased self-esteem, a lot of self-confidence uh, in themselves, uh, especially because they are not judged by their physique or physical appearance. And also it gives them a sense of self-identity and self-concept uh, in the way they see themselves. A lot of them do say that they do feel content and that fits within their psyche. And I think it's important to understand that if they themselves feel confident in wearing the hijab and that fits well with their self-concept and understanding, that it should be promoted and actually endorsed. No one's going to look at me in a, in, a, in, a, in a lustful sort of way. You know, I'm protected. I'm precious. Islam sees us as precious. Islam sees us as valued. And so for us to be covered, it makes us feel special, makes us feel precious.